Have you heard of switchback lights? Switchback LED lights? I haven't. Not until now. What's up, YouTube? Hey, it's me, John, L Explorer. So today, I'm gonna to bring to you something that I think is completely amazing. I don't know how they do this, but I, I think it's awesome. So last fit, what they did is they sent me LED switchbacks for, the, for my 2002 Lexus LX470 100 series Land Cruiser. So I don't believe they make them for the, 100, the Toyota version. Uh, but they're always developing new products. This particular one right here operates in the low beam position. Uh, I'm like, well, how do you how do you turn it on? Is it through a button? Is it through a separate switch? Like, how does it work? Well, it's actually all on the actual little knob at the end of your turn signal indicator. That right there, if you turn it off and turn it back on, will activate four different positions for the switchbacks. So the first position when you turn it on is bright light. That's 4200 lumens of bright white light, which the color temperature on that is gonna be at 6000. The second position, which is yellow or amber, and that is at a, a little bit lower level. It almost, to me when I first put it in, I thought, my, well, those look like halogen bulbs. I didn't know there was four different positions. Shame on me, I should have read the instructions. So the first position looks like halogen bulbs. My, this is pretty lame. But, you know what? There's probably a purpose for that, right? I switched to the second position after I read the instructions. Boom, 4200 lumens, bright amber slash yellow light, I'm like, wow, that is pretty cool. And, and that color is at 3000K. Switch it to the fourth position. Flashing, amber lights at 4200, or sorry, 3600 lumens. Flashing, that is pretty cool. Like, yeah, you never know. Like you're on the side of the road, you know, in, Nobody's gonna sit there and flash their, their high beams when they're stopped. They're gonna put their, their hazard lights on. Well, this one, you can also put on your, your ambers. Or say you're, you're slow moving and you're, you're uh, at the Baja races or some other race and you have other bu bu a ton of people that are racing around and you just want people to know that you're there. Even though you're a great big giant SUV, you still need those lights. Is this a necessary item? No. Is it pretty cool? Heck yeah. So, this video is going to be, is not going to be an installation video. It's just going to show you what these bulbs look like. So, stay tuned. I'll show you exactly what these bulbs look like in comparison to the LED bulbs uh, from last fit. And then I'll show you when the, when the sun sets, uh, all four uh, positions. All right. Let's check it out. All right, so in the box, you get your product manual. And then you also get a card for Last Fit's Elite Club. Now, the old bulb, the old bulb looks just like that. So remember, it has a aluminum shaft, aluminum heat sink fins, and then has a steel body with a fan steel braided line with two spade lugs at the end. Now the new switchback looks identical. However, the heat sink is a little bit larger and the fan body is actually a little bit larger as well. Uh, as far as the shaft is concerned, they're about the same height. <clears throat> so then you can see that the chip on there the chip on there is, there's two chips, right? As compared to the LED one, or the uh, white light one. 
You know, it's pretty amazing that every time I try to shoot a video around here, I have birds chirping, I have airplanes going, I have uh, my dog trying to get on top of a table. <laughs> so, as I was saying, aluminum body, larger heat sink, larger body for the fan, steel braid lines, and now, since there's going to be additional wires on in there, uh, we have a different connector. So, it comes with a, I don't even know what to call it, so I'm going to call it like a processor of some sort, right? Uh, this is all aluminum body, you have two steel braid lines coming out, the spade lugs, and then the connector that connects directly to the light. So, for those of you that modified a dust cap, and you switch to these, you're going to have to enlarge that hole and insert this piece right here because there's no way that this is going to fit inside the actual housing or that projector housing. So you'll see right here, it's got four little pins, right? And then right here, there's also the four, or I'm sorry, four holes with four pins, and there's a little black plastic pin in there that fits on top, so you can only fit it in one way. Once that goes in, all you have to do is to secure it is twist it, count, twist it clockwise to lock it in place. All right? So let's go and check to see what it looks like at night. All right, like I said earlier, this isn't gonna be an install video, but I have a pro tip. The pro tip is I, I've had a lot of questions where people are asking me about this little piece because on the other ones, the other LED lights for the low beam on the, Le on the Lexus were plastic, so it was a little bit thicker. So people were like, oh, oh, this thing's moving. Well, I fiddled with it and you can lock it in place. So these aren't permanently attached, not all of them, right? So just a slight little tug it'll slide right off. There's little rubber gaskets or grommets right there that hold this in place. So what you do is you install this first. Because on a Lexus, you have two little wires, right, that are all connected and they lock in place. So if you install this first and then slide this in place, right, because the light will have to go in in a certain direction, like these really can't be twisting on the inside. Put this in place, lock it down. It's simple and easy. A lot easier than trying to fiddle with taking little wires and trying to squeeze it around this heat sink. There's a pipe on the All right, so these are in the first mode, bright white. Let's switch over to the second mode. Now to change the mode, all you have to do is switch off, switch back on. And this is the second mode. It looks kind of like a halogen bulb, right? It's got a little tint of yellow to it, but it looks like a halogen bulb. Now, to switch to the third mode, switch off, switch back on. So in the third mode, there you go. It's a bright amber yellow light. We'll be able to see this when we do it at night. There you go. Now, to get to the fourth mode, you guessed it. Switch off, switch on and both of them will be flashing. Flashing amber. Pretty cool. So here we go. The first mode is dark out. It's that nice bright white that Last Fiddle is does. So mode number two, it just honestly, it looks like a little bit brighter version of the halogens. Mode number three, those ambers. Let me go back a little further here. Kind of hard to tell from this distance, but when you're right on, there you go. Can you see that yellow? The amber? Yeah, it's pretty hard to tell. There, mode number four. The flashing amber. It's just so cool. I love that. I love having options. Options. I love having options. 
you know, right there, I have it all. I can put my amber lights on and, and go down, go down a dirt road and, and not have to worry about buying, you know, additional amber lights, you know. So, uh, say if I'm in the fog, you know, you know, that amber lights cut through dust and fog a whole lot easier than a, a, a bright white light does. So, that's not too bad. And that's something that maybe, you know, I'll revisit this, this video in, in the future and we'll see a little, because uh, I, I do plan on in a couple weeks heading out to Arizona and maybe I'll head some dirt roads and see how that, how those amber lights cut through the dirt or the dust. And if I run into fog, boom, I'll post that too. So anyways, please like the video, subscribe if you already haven't. And we'll see you on the next one, All right? Like a locomotive coming through. <laughs> yeah, I don't know.